There's the big test. And there it is. Two parts per million. Starting around 500 parts per million was my tap water. That's what we actually distilled. 408, 411, 412. We got the stainless steel connector adapter. We got the stainless steel two foot tube stainless steel collection vessel. I'm also using glass as an option but either way the only thing that's just steel and not stainless steel is the can that holds the dirty or salt water but uh, that doesn't matter because we're not collecting the actual water just the steam. When it becomes a steam it only touches this which is stainless steel, that stainless steel, this stainless steel and or glass for the collection vessel. Just for the record where the can was the table's perfectly fine doesn't get warm enough on the bottom since I have it up about an inch and a half inside the outer can. Then when you're done just wrap it up and drop the lid on. This one's actually going to run on just a couple of 100 watt solar panels. I've had a lot of requests for can I make a off-grid like survival type solar water still that can just run on solar panels so you can just set it and forget it. And this is the deal. That's the whole thing right there, along with some heating tablets. But we just throw it together real quick and we're set. Last few turns to get it that tight, I could barely even turn it, so that's not coming out of there. That's awesome. Four twelve, four fourteen, four twenty. That's two fifteen Celsius, two oh eight, two fifteen. Now add your metal or stainless steel zip ties, and then we'll take the rubber band off. Now just twist the wires together. I think I'll put it just right about there, so when this is detached, we can still fit the lid on the top. Then to attach the plug, I just use a bolt and a nut. Kind of slide it through, slip it on, tighten it up, and then we'll tape these off. All right, then just tape the wires off so they don't touch. And you set. Beautiful. That came out great.
drop it in one one part per million that's awesome You just need a little swig of it. That just took a few minutes. Super simple design. I just bought the stainless steel tube, connected it to a tea kettle. It's going to take a few minutes for the water to boil and then we'll just capture the steam on the other side.